Okay, guys, Craig here with Irish Muscle TV, and I'm joined by our president, Mick Bullman. Mick, how are you, mate? I'm glad it's over, yeah. but I'm glad I was here as well because it was a fantastic competition. Well, I, mean, I have to say, it's still Saturday, not like last year when I went, we went over till 12 30. It's, it was really well run, and everything went a bit lot smoother than last year, so that's everyone would see that's a bonus anyway, wouldn't it? Well, I, last year there, there was a lot of things that I noticed got in the way of a smooth running, you know? Really? Okay. And I, that's why I chopped it up so much this year, yeah. you know, running so many pre-judgings or judgings yeah. and then finals. Yeah. Because yeah, what, it, it, but what it done was it cleared the backstage for a while. It, yeah, that's you know, exactly. And people were able to move about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was... I was what I was worried about, I actually sat down in front of some uh, DVDs of previous contests and mm -hmm. timed yeah. the events and then I bit out the programme from so there. You, oh, you had an idea so I, idea. Started, I, I started my own programme, we'll say, uh, plan uh, for to start at 12 and to finish at 10. And you know what? I, if anyone's watching, oh, it's just more people, what, is it 10 o'clock now? Well, we started at half twelve actually. Yeah. So we, we, in reality, we finished half hour ahead of schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because so it's great. Looking at the schedule, we were kind of on time of where we should have been. Yeah. So today, which is brilliant, like yeah. it really is very good. I'll have to take one down so I'll remember how to do it again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah, keep that in your pocket. You know? Yeah. I think I kept it on computer anyway. You know. So. So have we any any um, big news or anything coming up in the pipeline? Well, what we're discussing in the federation at the moment is because of the bigger interest has come up in the last few years because yeah. it's, been, it's been increasing every yeah. year for the last four or five years Absolutely. that we may uh, change the format of the, the competitions and have we'll say a strictly bodybuilding event for the guys All right, okay. and do the bikini and body fitness, body fitness and, and maybe yeah. and women's physique yeah. and maybe men's fitness yeah okay it, it, it to a, a totally Different uh, uh, category, or yeah. different event, you know. Yeah. And, and it, it like along the IFBB rules, I suppose it'll be board charts if the service oh, does would, come. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Board charts need. I'm not Again, mad about it, but, no, but it's, it's developing a great it, interest. I, I, I mightn't be mad about it. I'm probably not mad about it myself, but you have to look at it. You have to evolve. You look at the bikini. Well, you it's know, huge now. I, I, I think that when you know, as you saw, there was no female bodybuilders tonight, yeah. you know. Yeah. And when. Some of the girls found that they, they could enter the concerts because they had they were, they were fit, yeah. that they, they were yeah. training, yeah, yeah. and they could have fun with it, you know. Ex ex absolutely. So it was good for them, you know. And what had we? Thirty something. We had almost, almost fifty. Bikini alone. Oh, bikini alone. The, the Twenty-three in the small class. And yeah, was uh, about ten, I think. 10, yeah, yeah. It? yeah. Ten. It's brilliant, like fabulous. It can't brilliant. be by surprise, actually, yeah. you know. It's and you know, it's it's good. It's getting people into bodybuilding or into the bodybuilding side of things, into with, especially with IFBB well, it, and RIBBF. Yeah, the, the, the IFBB internationally are, are kind of changing slightly all the time, yeah. and there's a lot of. of I, I know there are still things happening in bodybuilding all over the world, it's but, yeah, but yeah. Um, there's a kind of a. The, trying to create a way towards fitness. Yeah. Like internationally they do yeah. IFBB are involved in a lot of schools, mm. believe it or not now, for, no for, harm. for for children's fitness. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and it's fabulous. Maybe something to look into. Well, you know, you could, be. Anyway. could be. Could yeah. be, yeah. They, they, they even have fitness competitions for kids. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. You know? I mean yeah. not to be overdone either, oh, you know. Of course, of course. Let, let them have fun and whatever. It, you know? yeah, yeah. I mean you would see on on a Sean Ray's web page now. He's, his daughter yeah, is doing fantastic. Right, yeah. you know? She's doing so many. She's doing so Fabulous, well. you know. Yeah. And uh, it's 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 great to see kids taking an interest. Yeah. Other than, for say, like gymnastics is a, is a very tough sport to be in. But if you're not haven't got the skill for that yeah. or, or the determination, that's another way to yeah. go. And you can have a bit of fun doing it and maintain the interest. Yes, you know, so Fabulous. being healthy, having a bit of fun, that's what it's all about for exactly. kids, especially. Yeah. Exactly, you know? So I suppose we have to move on to the big man himself, Sean Roden. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. What can be said about him? Like he's just amazing, isn't I, he? I, I, I think myself. You know, and I, I said that when when he appeared uh, last year in, in the Olympia, and they called him out in the, the first call out. You know, yeah. and people kind of where this guy come from? You know, yeah. he just popped out of nowhere, like yeah. absolutely out of nowhere. So I mean, is, and it, you know, when you think of even the, the, the Olympia a few weeks ago, in which he placed fourth, there was three Mr. Olympias in that. Yeah, you Dennis know? Wolf came in his best yeah. ever, like. Yeah. Ever. So, I mean, like, 
Yeah. Know, Kai Green was came in his best. I think it's a lovely, his it's a lovely aesthetic for bodybuilding. Yeah. Sean Race or Sean Roden's physique. He has the great physique. He's a classic physique. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I really do. And I think it's it, it's more inspiring to people looking at it, going, maybe I could. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Rather than your huge guys, like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like Kai Green is, is amazing, and he's he is amazing. But to look at him, he's like he's got that kind of freak factor where it's. In a good way, like, yeah. he's massive, no, moans of muscle, but to yeah. some people it's like, nah, I'll never get that big, it's unattainable. No, I'm not saying we can get Sean Ray or Sean Roden big, absolutely not, but it's more achievable, do you know? Yeah, it is, yeah. And still be targeted in Mr. Olympia, you know? And down the road, my belief, he'll, he will win it. Oh, it. I you mean, you, like we were talking about before we got on air there, he's got Ronnie Coleman in one corner and Charles Glass in the other. Exactly, yeah. You can't go on. <laughs> you can't. You simply can't. I mean, we're... You could say the god of bodybuilding is with him, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, Mick, we leave it at that, and it's an absolute pleasure talking to you again, mate, all right? Take Cheers. Care. Mind yourself. Glad you enjoyed the show. Thanks very much, mate. Bye-bye.